Item number SCP-3753. Object class, safe. Special containment procedures. SCP-3753 instances are kept in an airtight box and stored in a climate-controlled item locker. Description. SCP-3753 denotes 119 unbranded chamomile tea bags in a handmade wooden box. When a person with an infection or physical ailment prepares SCP-3753 and drinks the resulting tea, they will enter a deep sleep. When they wake, the subject will forcibly and painlessly expel the offending pathogens or organ in an appropriate orifice. The ejected matter, designated SCP-3753-A, will grow until it reaches the subject's approximate height and spout two arms. A boxing bell sound will then be audible, with no discernible sources. SCP-3753-A will proceed to engage the subject in hand-to-hand -hand combat until one of the two submits or is knocked out. It is unknown how the subject continues to maintain bodily function even when vital organs are expelled. Subjects gain an innate awareness of SCP-3753's effects and usually choose to engage it. If the subject attempts to attack SCP-3753-A with a weapon, SCP-3753-A will simply demanifest and the subject's body will return to its original state. If the subject is victorious, SCP-3753-A will shrink until it vanishes with a puff of steam. The subject will force deep again, and any removed organs will reappear inside the body. Upon waking, the subject will report significant, often total recovery from the illness or ailment. If the subject fails to defeat SCP-3753-A, SCP-3753-A will forcibly re-enter the body, and the subject's condition will be unchanged. The box spontaneously generate one new SCP-3753 instance every morning. A bridged SCP-3753 test log. Test 1. Emma Lister. Acute bronchitis. Enlarged virus. Lister. Baseline test. Lister knocked out SCP-3753-A, which dissipated. Lister reported Full cessation of her symptoms within eight hours. Test 3. Dr. Rivka Rukoni. Stress ulcer. Stomach. SCP-3753-A. SCP-3753-A subdued Dr. Rukoni with an arm bar and re-entered through the mouth. Dr. Rukoni reported no change in ulcer conditions. Test 8. Director Rosie, spinal disc herniation, spine, Rosie, SCP-3753-A instance not be vain defeat to launch a surprise attack, but was still defeated. Director Rosie's hernia remained, but the pain subsided greatly. Test 11, Agent Ursula Lunas, hypertension and depression. Vascular system in humanoid shape. Brain. Note. First instance of two distinct SCP-3753-A instances forming at once. Nunes engaged both instances, shouting various profanities. The vascular system demanifested after Nunes defeated it, and Nunes proceeded to violently assault her brain with her fists and feet even after it submitted. It a follow-up reported significant elevation of her hypertension, consistently higher serotonin levels, and decreased frequency of depressive episodes. Nunes requested repeated uses of SCP-3753. Test 16. Henrik Dunmartin. Stage 3 lung cancer. Cancerous cell. SCP-3753-A. Sternmartin fought and wrestled with the SCP-3753-A instance for 22 minutes and refused to surrender before collapsing from exhaustion. No change in condition.